As you may have heard me say in my previous videos, it is very important to have investments in the market because when you have a good month, it looks really good. In this video, we're going to talk about how my net worth increased by $70,300 in the past month. Hey everyone, thanks so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to Transparent Finance, where my goal is to be as open as possible with my finances. If you subscribe to this channel and watch my videos, I know that you're going to increase your overall understanding of building your net worth and retiring early. Getting back to our topic at hand, my net worth is something that I track on a Google spreadsheet once per month. I figured that since I'm already doing this, it would be fun to share my journey with you all. I personally think that tracking your net worth is a great way to stay on top of your financial future and learn where you can make improvements or changes. So let's hop right into it and talk about what happened over the past month to increase my net worth. As always, I like to start with what did not change in value first. And that is of course my real estate holdings. This includes my primary residence worth $650,000 with a remaining mortgage of $348,950. Leaving me with a plus $700 increase in equity over the past month due to mortgage pay down. While my home didn't increase in value, I think it's important to note the loan pay down. A lot of people seem to think that owning a home is a money pit, but I look at it like this. Every month that I pay my mortgage, I get about $700 in equity back. This means that assuming my home value stays the same, my net worth gains $8,400 per year. On top of that, since I purchased the home, it has increased in value by over $200,000. Moving on to the next contributor to my net worth, we have the vacant piece of land that I own valued at $130,000. There has been no change in value over the past month, but stay tuned for updates on that. I need to reevaluate this property because it could be worth a lot more by now. Also, I own this property outright, meaning I have no mortgage on it. This means that no change in value means no change to my net worth. Now let's get on to the movers and shakers and jump right into my stock portfolio, which gained a respectable $4,700 over the past month. My portfolio went from $152,000 $1,500 to $157,200 over the past month. I definitely cannot complain about that, especially given the sideways stock market this year. After that, we have my crypto portfolio, which is down $50 since last month. It was worth $12,750 last month, and now is worth $12,700. I know this seems like a solid amount to hold on to, but right now crypto is not part of my investment strategy. I don't put any money in and I don't take any money out. I'm just letting it ride to see what happens. Coming up next, we have cash at $90,250 up $1,250 since last month. As I have told you all before, I have been holding this much cash to wait for good real estate deals, but I am starting to feel a little bit bitter towards real estate given the high cost of financing. What do you think is the best way for me to invest this money? Put it all into VTI, buy an overpriced duplex and hold on to it, put it into a CD giving me 5% yearly. I am open to suggestions. The next thing up on my list of assets is my retirement account. It gained a solid $10,700 since last month, currently sitting at $35,950 compared to $25,250 from last month. Now you might be asking, how is it possible that my retirement account gained nearly 30% in one month? Well, I kind of cheated. After filming last month's net worth update, I realized that I might have a retirement account with a previous employer. Sure enough, I had one, so I added that into my combined retirement account category. Let this be a lesson to you that you should always contribute to your retirement account, especially if your employer matches. Hey, real quick, thanks so much for watching up to this point in the video. I appreciate all of you, and I wanted to encourage you to subscribe to this channel if this is the type of content that you are interested in. Also, please like this video, share this video, and comment to get this video and my channel in favor of the YouTube algorithm. As you can see, I had a pretty solid month when it comes to my net worth. And surprisingly, I have yet to have a month this year that my net worth went down. I think this is a good example of how powerful investing can be. I want you to think about where you want to be in 10 to 20 years, and then consider what investment vehicles will get you there. As of right now, for me, that's stocks and real estate. But I am always open to different investment strategies. Something that I like to do at the end of each of these videos is provide a breakdown of my net worth by percentage of each category that comprises my net worth. This helps me determine where I am on my journey to financial freedom and what I can do to maximize my investments. For example, my equity in my home is 41% of my net worth. This is a massive indication to me that I have enough equity in my home to pull out money if necessary. I can either refinance or do a HELOC, but since I don't necessarily need that right now, I will continue to build my equity. Next, we have my vacant piece of land that accounts for 18% of my net worth. After that, we have my stocks at 22% of my net worth. And after that, we have my crypto portfolio at 2% of my net worth. The remaining two are cash at 12% of my net worth and my retirement account at 5% of my net worth. I want you all to take a look at this breakdown and let me know what you think needs to be bolstered or scaled back. Let me know in the comments what you think is the strongest performer. At the end of the day, I make these videos to educate and inspire. I also like to have these videos as a reminder of where I came from and where I'm going. I hope you find value in these updates. That's it for now. Until next time, keep at it.